Hola folks, welcome to another Empire 2 War Online Commentary Battle video. And this is um, the Spanish against the United States of America. This is an army uh, over here that I built very similarly to uh, my French army. Uh, again, no uh, artillery and again, see how artillery can be effective if you know how to use it. Basically, here you don't even know... Uh, don't even have to know how to use it, you just have to like let it fire at will and it just does it damage. Maybe this will change my mind about using artillery, and then again, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> this army, specifically, no artillery again. I have my four Cazadores. Uh, unlike in the French army, these are names that I can pronounce. <laughs> then I have four units of straight line infantry. These guys got decimated. Look at that. They lost like 40 guys. That's not good. What is he using? Whoa, he just... Oh, shit, hey. That's not cool. Then I have my Walloon. Whoa. You've got to be kidding me. Will some of those guys stand up and f join the fight again? Nope. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Walloon guards. These guys are really good. Uh, Gordadas de Infanteria and again another uh, line uh, infantry units, so 5 line infantry units plus 3 elite line infantry units plus 4 uh, <coughs> Cazadores, so Jaeger type of units and uh, contingents of 4 CAF, uh, 1 Cuirassiers, 1 Gordadas de, cor de Corps, another Cuirassiers and a General's Bodyguard. So my opponent commanding the USA, he's got his uh, Legion of the United States, Legion of the United States, Legion. Legion, I guess these guys are something like elite uh, infantry. Something in Grand Years, I think. I'm not sure. I uh, haven't checked out the American roster uh, too close, to be honest. Then he has 4 inch mortar battery, another 4 inch mortar battery, another 4 inch mortar battery, and draws bodyguards. And I'm guessing, yeah, a lot of hidden troops. Here are his long riflemen, 4 of them. These guys are pretty good, so like, like my Cazadores. And Two more units of long riflemen, so my Cazadores are hopelessly uh, uh, outgunned in this battle, but uh, that's why I'm gonna concentrate on like firing these uh, legions because I'm gonna pull out men uh, of the, from that side. Because <coughs> these are the main component, as much as you can see, this is the main component of his army, these legions over here, and they are um, outranged by my guys. So I want to keep my guys, uh, my Cazadores in the fight, not lose them to his long riflemen, who has we have the same range as my Cazadores. And I'm going to move my standard line infantry uh, against his uh, long riflemen. My standard line infantry have more men than his rifles. And plus I'm moving in some calf for the support. Uh, but I'm going to be careful because I have lost a lot of calf like this. These guys can plant stakes and I just charge them up front when the stakes are planted and they can plant stakes anywhere in the map, so not, not uh, before the battle starts but after and uh, when I charge them like that of course I lose my, all of my caps, so this time I'm going to be, I think I lost uh, my cap like that in the, uh, the Poland Lithuania battle, so this time I'm going to be far more careful and I'm going to charge these units only after I'm sure uh, there, there are no stakes planted up there. I uh, routed this unit of long riflemen and I'm going to use my cap to run after uh, the other, the other uh, units of uh, these uh, long rifles. So this was a well placed ambush all in all by my opponent, I must say. But um, I managed somehow to avoid it. What is missing is some regular standard line infantry. So it's really a nice army but I don't know if you can pull off a win over here in this battle. In this uh, game, we have some standard line here, and there, there was my joke. Ouch! Killed by a mortar. Uh, by some mortar ammo. Not good. Not a good way to go. Uh, moving, on, moving up my main infantry line. Here we go. My wound guards, and my regular line infantry. I'm sure it's not okay for them to overlap like this over here. It's not. I mean, it's not like they're doing piking shot or something but <coughs> this is how I got them up the hill so this is how they will roll for now here we have the Legion of the United States and this unit the planet just finally starts to crumble these are the guys that I think lost a lot of men at the beginning of the battle and I finally also lose my cat force I wanted, I really wanted them to come over here and to 
kill off his mortars, but I wasn't able to do that. I'm killing off uh, one after the other of his uh, legions. And over here, uh, what's uh, uh, his um, what, what's remained? Of, no, actually, this is the only unit, not not what's remained, but the only unit of his uh, calf, uh, the only calf unit of his army. Light dragoons are trying to wreak havoc on my lines. Uh, and they did manage to inflict a lot of casualties to my elite balloon guards, but they're still in the fight. I managed to build a square as you can see uh, in time, but I should get a redeploy now and I will take on these long riflemen in melee. I want to take them out since they're pretty close uh, fast. And what's his left, my, what my opponent's left with is two long riflemen over here, one two legion of the United States over here his artillery and his drones bodyguards plus some light dragoons that are really really annoying me by now but I managed to draw them yeah there we go with my cazadores what I'm left with is one two three units of line infantry plus plus uh, two units of balloon guards one is pretty depleted and he's got his nice position in this ridge over here and by the way I think this is fought I, I think that this and I think this is fought on the Cuba map so basically you can you can see this as a battle for cuba between the spanish and the americans yeah cool scenario i gotta say um talking about cool stuff look at these hats from what have i have seen until now from this game these are the coolest hats from any units oh really nicely richly decorated these balloon guards so moving up the hill slowly but surely I, I want to conquer this hill overpowering and shooting these guys the americans just like taking this the ridge by force and the bad part is two of the legions that are routed are coming back and i have to turn now i have to turn my attention over there and i'm gonna dedicate yeah, my wagon guards to that uh, to that fight over there and I'm gonna start moving the other unit of my balloon guards against his uh, motor uh, because this, is, I mean, this kind of sucks. I'm losing way too many men uh, in this uh, in this way from his motors. Uh, this uh, unit of uh, Legion of the United States, I think, has come a, a little bit too close. And now they're they're not like I thought they were like grenadiers, but they're definitely not like grenadiers. So they have no grenade, they're just elite uh, line infantry, which is 90 men. And he's left only with one legion over here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident I can wrap things up in this battle right now. He's only got his long rifle map and from this side, and I have them surrounded from all sides pretty much. I have a lot of uh, Cazadores left, pretty much all of my Cazadores are left. Managed to protect them at the beginning of the battle when they. Uh, when the threat was presented uh, uh, that they could be surrounded from all sides from a uh, long rifleman. Uh, he commits also his general's bodyguards over right here, but my balloon guards I'm very fairly comfortable will uh, manage to uh, beat back this uh, last ditch uh, defense uh, from the Americans. And this this is a nice this is a nice uh, close up view of the action. Impale that guy, come on, impale that guy. Oh, impale it, impale him. Yeah, there we go, yeah, you didn't impale him, but you knocked him out real good. And I think, yeah, the general's bodyguards are gonna rock now. Uh, or, yeah, wavering, wavering, shaking, wounded. And, come on, kill him. Which one of these guys is the general? This guy, nope. This guy, nope. Maybe this guy is the general. Ah, uh, yeah, here's the general. Here's the general. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Come on. It's three of you. Come on, get him. You, you there. Turn. Just there we go. There goes his general. Nicely timed. Uh, nice carnage he left. Uh, my little guard, guard left behind. And he also took down his mortars, so. He's only left with uh, this unit of... No, everything's relative. 
Yep, everything's routing except for I think these guys that will come back from routing and just annoy the heck out of me. Yeah. I remember there was something not routing. That came back from routing just to annoy me. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what's what's still alive. Come on, what's still not flying away from this mighty Spanish Armada? Conquering Cuba. Mm. Routing shattered. Let's, ah, here we go. Least Legion. This is a special unit of Calf. He's got. Uh, look, these guys are pretty cool looking. Yeah, let's stop for a bit. In their green uniform, I don't know from which these guys come from. I see they have their guns uh, on their saddles, plus they have uh, sabers, so I guess they can be both used in melee and as, uh, I thought, as uh, standard calf and as uh, horse archers. Uh, I think they will get a nice charge with my guys. Yeah, they got a charge on my Cazadores. But here's my line of infantry in the back, so no big deal. I want my Cazadores to plant stakes before uh, these guys came, but I uh, didn't time that well. So he's gonna lose just a couple of horses, sadly. But nowhere to hide. I'm running up the ridge, and. He has the option of either running away the whole battle or just like a coward, but he's not gonna do that. I think my opponent was a fear player. Or, uh, well, Harikiri charging his unit down my infantry, because this line of infantry are no kind of so these guys are gonna hold out in a charge. Or he can just stand uh, on that bridge and wait for my guys to shoot the fuck out of these guys. Uh, I think he's gonna just stand there. And to shoot these guys, yep, and there goes Lee's Legion, uh, the last remnant of this uh, American army that stood in Cuba against the mighty Spanish Armada. I deployed 1500 or 419 guys, my opponent deployed 1068 guys. Uh, we check out the amount of kills. Well, everyone did their job pretty well, the Cazadores did their job. The Valoon guys did their job, so yeah, good battle for all of my units. So, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this battle, and I hope you will stick around for more battles to come. Bye bye, take care.